At any rate, this this uh, program does come to you live from Atlanta, and uh, about to say. let's get let's get right to work on this 11 game night with the Cavs and the Wizards. A couple of minutes to talk about this situation. What is the truth right now? I mean, do you think Cleveland wants Carmelo Anthony? No, if they wanted Car Carmelo, they'd have him. If 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 LeBron James wanted Carmelo, he'd be gone. Uh, Kevin Love would be gone. I think the Knicks want Kevin Love. I think that's the truth of the matter. But if, anybody who thinks LeBron, if LeBron wanted Kevin Love, excuse me, Carmelo Anthony, the, the Knicks would not, the, the Cavs would make that trade today, tomorrow, whatever. So I don't believe any of that stuff at all. I think he, I think he definitely wants to play Carmelo. However, we're not giving up Kevin Love for Carmelo. Well, who else he gonna give up? Well, I don't know, but you know, if you want to make the trade, you can't take Kevin Love. If, if you're talking about taking cup Kevin Love, don't call me no more. But you, you know, would he love the chance to play with a guy like Carmelo Anthony? Yes, he would. Well, why, is this, why does this talk not go away? Because the truth of the matter is that they're they're answering the phone. Obviously, they're, they're at some point they're answering the phone about. Carmelo. Now, again, is it for Kevin Love or anything else? Who knows? But the phone is being answered because the, the New York Knicks have done the job of getting out all the words that things are happening. When, from it started when Carmelo is meeting with Phil Jackson, they get that word out. They've talked to this team, they get that word out. So there, that screen. word is yeah. getting out hey, hey, hold on. about what happens in the New York Knicks. And I 100% disagree. You don't think the Knicks are putting these words yeah, out? I think they're trying That's to trade right. Carmelo. But I'm saying they want Kevin Love. I'm not saying they don't. Okay. I'm just saying that, but the word... Oh, you don't know. No, there's no doubt in my mind Carmelo's on the trading block. But the, the, the Cavaliers are not going to give up Kevin, Kevin Love. Love. But do you think they answered the phone? No, not for that particular trade, but I think the Knicks... No, that's all I'm saying. No, I'm no, saying so I, that's why it stays alive, because think, they will answer the phone about But Carmelo. I think the Knicks are trying to keep it alive. Uh, that, that's my honest, my personal opinion. They want Kevin Love for Carmelo Anthony, and the Cavaliers have said it. We are not going to do that deal. That is uh, today. So today on the clock, and and we move on now to Game Two of our doubleheader: uh, the Memphis Grizzlies at home against the San Antonio Spurs. So Memphis is now your number three team in the West. I think they're the third best team uh, in the Western Conference. I Golden think. State. San Antonio, San Antonio. And, the, and the Grizz over Houston. I do uh, over Houston, Houston over Utah over the Clippers. Uh, yes, uh, over Clip Oklahoma City. Uh, yes, uh, the only team the Rockets have not been playing well lately, so they got to uh, they got to drop. You can't stay where you're at if you're dropping. But I think the Grizzlies. Anytime you got Mark Gasol and Mike Conley, you're going to be competitive. Got to give Zach Randolph a lot of credit, man. Not a lot of guys who are all-star type players who had a hell of a career go to the bench, does not complain, and becomes one of the best six men in the NBA. That takes a lot, man, because when you get older and not the same guy, you have to check your pride at the door. Shout out to Zach Randolph for just being a grown-ass man. I like that. Memphis 8-2 and two against the top four teams in the West, 3-0 and oh against the Warriors and the Spurs. Denver continues to hang on to the eighth spot with uh, Portland, Sacramento. Dallas saw the two dogs in that fight. Chase. Denver and Portland, man. That's gonna no, be I think Dallas is in that fight too, man. I think they're in that fight. Dallas is in Texas. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're in that You're fight. You're a big Yogi Ferrell fan. Yeah, no question. Yogi's playing great, but Yogi's they, playing they, great. If they're, Yogi were doing that in New York, it'd be another it'd oh, insanity. Be insanity. But, but yeah. if you yeah. ask yeah. to look at, uh, put that <laughs> list back up for a second. Can what? Put the list back up for a second. Okay, if you ask to look at it, you have to be realistic. Portland got a better team than Dallas. So, Not necessarily. Well, well, we can we can disagree. Okay. Portland has uh, it, it Denver. Uh, Mike Malone. You think Denver going to hang in there? I, I think that's the question uh, because <laughs> yeah, uh, that is the question. I know, I'm saying, saying, that the answer is no, I'm I saying, think Dallas is going to sneak po in. Well, Portland has the best team, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. If you guys to look at it from a talent standpoint, uh, uh, so. Denver, can they hold on? Mike Malone has done a fantastic job. They've had a couple injuries here and there. But if you just look at it, which team is the best? Uh, Portland is better than Sacramento and Dallas. And we're not even close to them. We still have more highlights on the way. Uh, the Heat hit the road looking to extend their winning streak.